So I'm here today in the Czech Republic city of Karlovy Vary. Um, and this is literally a minute from our hotel is this in church we're gonna go check out first. Vivari. Uh, it's in the Czech Republic and it's about two hours from Prague. A lot of people come here just as a day trip. You can do a tour right from Prague. And this city is a famous spa town that is famous for their mineral spring fountains. So we're going to walk along the river and there's a whole bunch of fountains along the way that we're going to check out. I'm here at the first of the fountains near our hotel. This is actually the latest one to become public. Not all the spring fountains here are public and this one was only added recently. This is the snake fountain. Salt and copper. Uh, so this one's one of the cooler ones. It's only, I think it's at 30 degrees. A lot of them are hot. And the cups that you see everyone using are meant to cool it down so you can drink it right away. Wow, that's way warmer. This one is 47 degrees or 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's like a hot tub. I love that it's dragons. <laughs> hmm, that one's not bad tasting actually. It's just really hot. So this one is number 10. It's 53 degrees. So this one is 63 or 62 degrees Celsius. Of course I brought a thermal water bottle that's holding all the heat. 
Yeah, that one's even more mild than the last two. I like this one a lot, actually. I could drink a lot of that. I like it. Number eight, hot spring, and this one is even hotter. This is 65 degrees Celsius. It smells interesting. Oh, it feels hot. I think you're right, the hotter they get, the more mild the flavor is. Because it doesn't taste like the other ones, like it doesn't taste as salty or as coppery, but it's just hot. This is spring number seven. Mm, starting to taste a little saltier again because this one's a bit colder. It's 60 degrees Celsius. Not my favorite one. 56 degrees Celsius. Oh yeah, you can taste the salt in this one too. It seems as they get colder, you can definitely taste the salt. All right, on to the next. So I found a pin here. It cost me five Canadian dollars, which was 99 Czech. What's their money called? I don't even know what Crown, this crowns. Cra crowns, 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 crowns. But it was 99. This is the very famous colonnade. A lot of people take photos here. The, the white arches. And it also has three of the fountains here. So we're gonna try the first one, which is number five. This one is 61 degrees Celsius. Seems pretty mild. Which is pretty cool. It doesn't taste like much. It's good. Mm. This one is the number two, and it's 64 degrees Celsius. I think this is one of the last one, the last ones that you can drink. The next one is more of a geyser, you can't drink out of it. So here's to the last sip of water. This one's very, quite hot. But that's it, that is all the, we tried all the fountains in the main colonnades here. There are some that are further out of town that we're not gonna go to. But definitely, if you come to Karla, Karla Vivari, uh, bring a water bottle so you can try all the different types of mineral water here. I'm gonna try the coffee one first. Mm, that was really good. Delicious. Now let's try. I don't even. I don't even know what flavor this is. I just loved how it looked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is that? It kind of tastes like lady fingers. It's delicious. Mm. And the pistachio is mine. It was pretty good. Pretty freaking yeah, good. Yeah, that was for Chris. Mm. 
we almost missed the last one because it's in a very modern looking building. I expected like the same sort of colonnades that we've been seeing. So for this one, because it's 72 degrees Celsius, which is way too hot, I'm gonna put some in here and then I'll drink it after we go look at the geyser over there. This one's probably gonna taste the best because it's hot. It feels like a sauna in there. It is so hot from the geyser. They've got it in an enclosed space so you can feel the steam. Uh, so I've let this cool off a bit, so let's try. It's still hot even after all that. Um, still a bit salty, more salty than some of the other hot ones, I think. But it's not bad. And that, I think, is the actual end of all the water fountains that you can drink here. I didn't know you could drink this one. I don't know if that's new. You can drink the hottest one they got, which is 72 degrees Celsius. The only other thing on my list to check out here uh, is the Grand Hotel, which was used as a location for filming in Casino Royale, and that's where we're headed right now. So behind me, you can see the hotel. Where is it? There it is. Uh, so I did actually look at staying there for a night, a uh, minimum 250 Canadian dollars. I'll have to put on the screen what that is in like Euro. But uh, we just, we could not justify that kind of price. Um, it's not terrible considering the famous filming location and the view of the city is spectacular, but that just is so many nights in everywhere else that we've been to, we just couldn't do it. <laughs> Definitely not a backpacker budget friendly hotel. We are hiking behind the Grand Hotel. There's uh, some stairs up. You can catch the cable car there or you can take the hiking trails. And there is a viewpoint up here somewhere. Oh, well, that's actually pretty. I don't think this is it though. Look at that. So we didn't find the viewpoint that I was looking for. We got some really nice views from where we were. We don't have any water on us and it is getting a little hotter out here. So we took a shorter route back to the hotel rather than keep going up the mountain. The hiking trails are beautiful. So we're on our way back to the hotel. So I think that's it for exploring Karlovivari. The unfortunate thing is there are only hotels. I didn't see any hostels and the hotels are a little bit pricey for what we normally would do as budget backpackers. But if you get the opportunity to come, it is very beautiful. All right, I'll see you in the next one.